All right, guys, I'm not on um, show us sweet today, but if you guys were here last night, Professor Jason showed a concept. So I know a lot of you guys weren't here, so I'm just going to review the concept first. And then you can do Nora, because she just did such a great job. Um, so always when you're on the bottom playing guard, the talking about sweeps, um, the person on the top is like a table, right? So can you make the table for me? You guys have a different name for it. but So here's like a table, right? And the table has four legs. We'll have her two legs here and her two legs here. So when I'm playing guard and I'm trying to sweep and come on the top, I always am trying to remove a table leg and then push in that direction. Because here, let's say we remove this table leg, but now I push towards her legs, she still has posts. If I push towards this arm, she still have a post. But if I create the thing to push her towards the one that's gone, she's gonna fall, okay? Thank you, Mark, that was it, thank you. Um, so that's the concept that I want you guys to leave today, especially if you're newer. Always when you're playing guard, you have your table, you're trying to control, remove one of the posts, and then figure out how to take them in that direction. So I'm actually gonna use Coach Sarah to do the technique. Thank you, Nora. So, technique. Now I have my table. And she's on top of me, okay? And I like to train a lot of times that I already kind of feel or know what they're gonna do. And so I just set up my grips to be able to have attacks waiting when they start to move. So the grip that I'm gonna set up is I'm gonna go cross grip right here. I'm just gonna grab this um, C pocket grip on the outside of the gi. And then I'm gonna relax and kind of wait to see if she's gonna do a common reaction, which is to get to the feet to break the guard. So partner's gonna grab, they're gonna grab the arm, and then they're gonna go to their feet. What I wanna do when I'm here is I wanna make sure that my guard is kind of light and I make her stand up. Because if I don't want to have, let her break my guard, I can always bring the knees down to my chest and really like suck her in and bring her back down. But I want her to stand. So what I do is I elevate the hip off the floor and I make it kind of easy for her to stand up to her feet. So she's here, she goes up, keep the guard close, elevate the hip. So now I have this free hand and what I'm gonna do before she starts to posture up too much is I'm gonna make a hook and I'm gonna start to pull myself here and load the leg onto my shoulder so now I can feed the grip and go here. So I'm gonna control same side, sleeve and collar. Now I need to bring my body completely on the outside. This is her table that I wanna go in that direction. So I'm gonna pull myself out and my legs are going forward, but already I'm gonna go belly down and I'm gonna posture up here on the top, okay? Once I'm here, I can release, slide down and then come for a slight control. So I'm gonna do it one time. This is the technique without explaining, so you can see how it's supposed to look. So here my partner is gonna be closed guard. The grip I wanna start with is a cross. Here would be the same side. Cross grip. Now person on the top is gonna grab the collar, sleeve, they're gonna stand up to their feet. As soon as they go, remember my guard needs to be light, I elevate the hip to go with her. My free hand, I'm gonna go under the leg, but I also need to kind of use this hook to pull myself to help me create the angle. So I pull myself, feed, I'm gonna grab the collar. Now my legs are gonna come out. So I'm gonna swing and right away, I'm gonna kick in the shoulder, go belly down, use this to pull myself up and then slide off, secure the top position on site control. Let's go guys, ready one, two.